This is WENY HD News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Melillo. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. It's one of the biggest events in the Southern Tier, and this year it only got bigger. The Wine Glass Marathon had more than 5,000 runners in this year's race. That's 1,000 more than last year and about 2,400 per, per half marathon and full marathon. There were also a lot of firsts for this 32nd annual event. It was the first time for some new security measures that in the wake of the Boston bombings earlier this year. And it was, it was the very first marathon for both the top male and female finishers. Top Dan Craighead, a 23-year-old from State College, Pennsylvania, took home the top prize for the men with the time of 2 hours and 28 minutes and 19 seconds. That was his first marathon ever. And Morgan Burroughs from Corning finished first for the women. The event estimated to have at least $2 million impact on the local economy. And hey, heads up, Pennsylvania voters, today is the last day to register for the vote for November 5th elections. This year, most of the balloting focuses on elections of judges and school board members and municipality officials across the state, but the only statewide race is for an open seat on the state superior court. If you need to register, go to votespa.com to find out how. I also put a link to that website on ours at wemy.com. Just click on this story. And drivers in Elmira only have to deal with the construction on Church Street just a little bit longer. The project is almost done. That's according to city leaders. Elmira City Mayor Sue Skidmore says the street will reopen to traffic in both directions by the end of October. Half of the street is currently done and the other half will be completed soon along with adjacent sidewalks. She also says the project is even slightly below budget. The only roadblock was when the state DOT was working on Elmira uh, on the Clement Center Parkway in Elmira at the same time. Finishing touches include parking meters and road signs, which will be installed once traffic resumes. All right, now here's meteorologist John Hickey with today's forecast. John. Well, it was like a summer weekend out there. Temperatures in the low 80s. We saw some hazy sunshine at times and even some thunderstorms. Now today is really going to change everything as a cold front comes through. We're going to see rain and we're going to see wind up to an inch of rain on top of clogged storm drains thanks to the wind and the leaves that are still coming down. That could pose some problems. We'll time some of this out for you here momentarily. Sun comes back tomorrow, full force too. It's gonna to be a gorgeous day and much more of what we think of fall as far as your temperatures go. We're tracking some tropical moisture after what was disappointing tropical storm Karen kind of fading away here, but some of her moisture trying to sneak back up in our direction towards the end of the week. I don't think we'd see much more than just some increased cloud cover from it though. So let's time out this cold front today. This is 8 o'clock this morning. Your morning drive is just fine. We're going to hold off the rain until about 10 o'clock or so, and we're going to end it by about 4. This is 6 o'clock here, rain already through. So your storm impacts look something like this. With an inch of rain, wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour. That could create some isolated power outages. But the greater concern, of course, with the wind is just bringing down some of the leaves. They've already started to change, so they're more prone to fall. Rain plus that equals clogged storm drain. So you're heading out this morning, you happen to notice the storm drain at the end of your street or at the end of your driveway, just kind of kick it off a little bit. Believe me, it will help out a lot. And with the rain ending by four, this is a very tight window for this rain to fall. So if you watched any football yesterday from the Midwest, you saw what happened out there. Rain came down in buckets very quick. That's what we're going to expect, but we're going to expect it to wrap up pretty quickly. And in fact, by late tonight, it'll be hardly like anything happened. It's going to be absolutely fine. It's going to be cool, though, with temperatures around 40. Tomorrow, beautiful day, mostly sunny sky, high temperatures, low 60s, and a little bit warmer for Wednesday. So after a high impact Monday, the rest of the week is looking pretty fine. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. First warning at that. Looking into the weekend, sunshine sticking around, temperatures in the upper 60s. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. All right, thanks, John. Now for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Melillo. Have a good day.